because many times in the years that I practiced law, I live in Sale and I practice law in and around Sale and uh, Gippsland at large, and many of the courthouses in which uh, I appeared on behalf of my innocent client, uh, many of them were of this size. And uh, it is wonderful to think that this building, having been in a state of disrepair and uh, fundamentally not used for about 15 odd years, as I understand it anyway, that it's been restored in the way that I see around it. And that it's now dedicated to a purpose uh, that I think uh, is just wonderful. Not to uh, the purpose of its original design, of, uh, of that of a courthouse, but to have it as an entertainment space, uh, a place where productions can be uh, conducted uh, and can be held, to have community to be able to come here and celebrate and participate in them, I just think it's a wonderful, wonderful outcome. And to have a building which has uh, lain idle for as long as it has, uh, now being able to play a, uh, an important part in community in the productions that will come through here, and no doubt other sorts of meetings and gatherings will be held with the passage of time. It might start off with one apparent aspect of its uh, use and activity, but I can assure you it will be subsumed into other things uh, with the passage of time as people come to see what a great benefit it is to have it back and being able to be used for those purposes. So uh, I'm thrilled to be able to come along today and uh, be part of this. Uh, it's a project of about $194,000, almost a couple of hundred grand, and we put in as a government out of our regional growth fund $145,000 to enable it to happen. Uh, but whereas I don't normally refer to notes, Mr Chairman, I do want to in the sense of making sure I reflect and uh, accommodate those who have otherwise made uh, contributions because um, it's very, very important to uh, note them. The Alpine Shire Council, $5,000. The Rotary Club of Bright, $8,000 again, the Rotary Club, you know. <laughs> the Bright Alpine Actors, $5,000. Uh, uh, Maz Productions, uh, $6,000. And in kind contributions of uh, $25,000. The bottom line is, what a great community project. And when we conceived of this uh, regional growth fund uh, those years ago, uh, and before we came to government in 2010, uh, what we were looking to do was to empower local communities to do things that are important to them and for them, and, and not have some of them white cars from government of whatever political persuasion drive into, into town and say, you, know, you sit back and enjoy this, this will be good for you. Uh, living in the country as I do and as I always have uh, my whole life and before, long before I got into politics it was one of the things that really annoyed the hell out of me uh, because given the opportunity we are more than capable of charting our own course and that is very much what uh, this great project is about. So I congratulate all concerned, those who thought of it, those who have designed it, those who have done it and may it enjoy a long and long and prosperous future and may, may it see many, many wonderful productions. May it please your honour. Thank you.